Have you ever looked down at your short nails and told to yourself, Oh man, I want Billie Eilish on my nails today. Well, guess what? We'll be doing just that. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Ananya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a portrait nail art which basically means drawing a portrait of someone on the nails but on shorter nails. I have already trimmed and filed my nails short. Couldn't file any further because I have sort of puffy fingers and it actually pains if I file down further. So these are my shortest nails. Let's see if I can freehand Billie Eilish on my short nails. Let's go. I always start off with one coat of Aunt Peel Off Base Coat so that I can peel the nail polish off once I'm done with the nail art. I kind of hate using nail polish remover. I feel like the remover seeps into my body through my cuticles. Ugh. Of course that doesn't really happen so no need to panic. I just hate rubbing my cuticles with something. I hate friction. Okay, let's start off with our portrait nail first. I am putting two coats of a white nail polish. I'll list down all the nail polishes in the description and will link everything if I can. Ooh, so satisfying. For some reason, application of any type of opaque paint is always satisfying. Now you can skip this step but I'm adding a matte top coat on top because I want my base to be smooth and the brush to glide effortlessly on my nail. I will be painting using watercolors today from Camel. I love stationery so much. I have my palette ready. You can also use a lid of some sort. I'm laying down Chinese white, yellow ochre, ochre and crimson lake. Here we are trying to get her skin color so I'll be taking a little bit of red and mixing it with the white to get a pinkish tone like strawberry milkshake. And then I'm mixing in the yellow ochre. By the way, you can use acrylic colors which most artists use. It's also waterproof so I highly recommend it. Because if you don't seal the watercolor properly, the water can seep in while you're washing your hands and can destroy the design. I don't have acrylic colors in the tube form at the moment. I have them in glass jars which is very inconvenient. You can actually scratch dried acrylic paint on your nails to correct imperfections but with watercolors you can just wipe it down with a wet cotton pad. Also you don't have to worry about paint drying permanently on your palette and brush so that's a good thing. Alright now I'll be using a small pointy brush. I'm going to dip it in the skin color we just mixed in. And we are going to add some marks to guide us through. I'm going to lower down the exposure so that you can see what I'm doing. Alright, first mark a point on top like so, which indicates her hairline and then one on the bottom which is the end of her chin. Now I want you to divide the space into three parts. Draw a line across the middle part like so. Now you'll have to leave about one third of this line from the top and draw two lines horizontally on both the sides as I'm doing. Make sure that the length of these three lines should be equal. And now I'm going to start shaping the nose like so on top of the vertical line. Now for her forehead, you'll have to draw an umbrella-like structure on top of the nose and below the point which we had marked. Now I'm going to start outlining the lower portion of her face. Start by drawing her chin from the mark and extend it on both the sides till you reach the free ends of the two horizontal lines. I'm now filling it in leaving space around the nose since it's not outlined yet. I'm going to mix a little bit of burnt sienna to a part of the skin color in the palette to get a darker tone with which we will give her face some dimension. Outline the nose and forehead first like so. Now let's move on to her eyes. I'm painting her eyes on top of the lines with white and then I'm going to outline them. Now I'm filling in the space I left with the skin color. Alright, now I'm taking Prussian blue and ivory black on my palette and I'm going to mix them with the white to get a nice icy blue color. 
Okay, this is the hardest part. I'm going to dot it in carefully using a dotting tool. Oh, oh no, no. I wanted more of the white on the sides. You guys, it's very hard to get perfection in such a small place in one go. For doing very tiny details like this, I think it's best to just mess it up and then conceal it later. Alright, let's fix it. Okay, I'm going to outline her eyes now with the Prussian blue. Oh no, 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 no. The white is gone again. By the way, this is my first nail art tutorial. Um, can't really say first actually. I was posting nail art videos 2-3 to three years ago on Instagram. But yeah, this is my first proper nail art YouTube video. Not gonna lie, I have actually filmed 3 nail art tutorials before this. But those were never posted anywhere. Why you ask? Well, the problem is you can't really see 95% of the time what I am doing in those videos. This is the only pose in which I am comfortable in doing nail art and it's hard to place the camera in this angle so that both you and I can see what's going on. But after a lot of experimentation, I have finally figured this out for myself, so yay! And now I'm going to fill the area above the eyes with the dark toned paint. Okay, time for the eyebrows. Oh, oh no. There we go. The brush I'm using has like a single hair sticking at the tip so I'm taking advantage of that and I'm trying to draw individual hair for some more detail. Alright this is how it's looking so far. I'm going ahead with the brown to add details to the nose. It's time for the lips. I mix the skin color with red to create a nice rosy color and painted her lips with it like so. I'm going in with the black to add a line to part her lips and then I'm using the contour shade to add the bridge or what do you call it? The extension of Cupid's bow? <laughs> oh god. Now let's contour the rest of her face. I threw in some details like the highlight on her lips. I'm starting to paint her neck and adding the shadows. Now I'm going to use cobalt blue hue to paint her blue hair. I'm going to add in the black color in there to depict the hair on the back. And then I'm painting her shirt with white. And adding details with the icy grey shade. And of course can't forget her signature blue tears from her music video. Painting it with Prussian blue. Yes, all the way down to her neck. This is how it looks so far. It just needs a few touch-ups to look realistic. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm going to top it off with a glossy top coat before moving to matte top coat because you guys, trust me. I have tried putting matte top coat before directly on top of watercolors and have destroyed an hour of detailed work and it was a nightmare to fix it. It just cracks up the paint layer and you don't want that. For the rest of the nails, I want to create kind of a dark blue marble design. So starting off with the peel off base coat as always and then I'm going to paint this beautiful cobalt blue nail polish on top. To create the marble design I'm going to do the smoosh or smooshy nail art techniques so it can get a little messy. So I'm going to protect my skin with liquid latex beforehand. For the stamper, I'm going to use my old trusty Bon Pretty Store stamper. You can use any type of squishy stamper. I'll be using these nail polishes. I'm gonna put little blobs on the stamper like so. I 
and then I'm gonna squish it on top of the nail until I'm happy with the design. Also in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't take ages to dry, it will dry fast. Before it starts to dry, I'm gonna flick the excess on the sides onto the skin so that it doesn't dry thick on the sides. And now I'm gonna peel the latex off, clean up if needed. Alright, now let's add a matte top coat. Oh, the shine is still there. Okay, never mind. Let's add another layer of matte top coat. Um, let's just pretend that this was just what I was going for. Now to finish off the design, I'm going to use this beautiful silver metallic nail polish to add some lines like so. And there we have it. I guess this turned out pretty great for my second time attempting to do portrait nail art. By the way, the point of doing this on shorter nails was that nail art has no boundaries. Whether you have shorter nails or you don't have any nail tools, you can still do nail art. Also, thank you so much for watching. Comment below your suggestions on what you want to see next. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now and hit the bell to never miss an upload. I put various types of content like art videos, nail art, makeup and bunch of other stuff. Alright, see you in my next video. Bye!